Look at verse 14. Galatians 5, verse 14. Let me get rid of verse 13 again. For you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity to the flesh, but through love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. So what I take that to mean, family, is principle that number, principle number six, is that our Christian freedom allows us to freely serve and love one another. Because you've got you to think about it. This is how it works. When we are free in Christ, God graces is working in and through our lives. And that, and that motivates us to, to love and to serve one another. Because if we're not free, then we're, we're, we're so caught up in doing what we got to do to be justified and be, and, be caught, and be found righteous in God's sight. But this liberty that God, that God gives us the liberty that God gives us is an expression of his love and his grace in our life, and it motivates us to go out and serve and love one another. I think that's the, from what I understand from our research, that is the, 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 the two-part end goal of this whole Christian freedom. To glorify God and to love and serve one another. For this is the fulfillment of the law. Everything in it. Our freedom in Christ is not an oppression. It's not oppressive and it's not burdensome. Though, though we have this freedom and it, and it motivates us 